Hi, let's talk about Inside Out, what I consider to be the greatest introspective film of all time. Now, Pixar is often regarded as the pinnacle for all audience movies conceptually, and this is due to several animated film classics, like you know, you have Cars, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, and that track record, in combination with the fact that, you know, their latest films haven't been too up to par, led to me being a bit hesitant about going into their latest film, Inside Out. I mean, after all, this is diving headfirst into the realm of the inner being, a concept which many people find tedious or just overwhelmingly boring. It's an entity so layered and complex that there's an entire field of study named after it, and it's called psychology. I mean, it took Dostoevsky a book of this thickness to explain a character's inner thoughts, and admittedly, I, um, I still haven't finished it. I felt that Pixar may have been stepping into deep that they've overmested the capabilities of their audience and that, you know, they just couldn't make anything coherent about children's psychology. Thankfully though, Inside Out conveys its message with as much wit, creativity, and innovation as you'd expect from any other Pixar classic. The characters are engaging, the plot is very simple, and while there may be a lot of content, it never really feels overwhelming. It slowly guides you through the realm of the main character's psyche, and things that may just seem like a far-flung thought actually come back to play an integral role in the plot. In other words, everything ties together nicely. From a more technical standpoint, come on guys, this is Pixar. If anything, you know the production is going to be top notch. The visuals really capture the bleak grayness of San Francisco, which is actually really interesting since Pixar isn't known for exploring realism. And each person's emotional headquarters very charmingly depict their character on a surface level. The soundtrack is beautiful, and I found myself laughing several times just at how well it's resembled what it means to be a growing kid. And I feel that's what art needs to do, you know, resonate with something that's real. Now back to my claim. Why do I think this is the greatest introspective film of all time? Because of its accessibility and clarity of message. Any film like this relies heavily on personification and symbolic imagery. But the thing is, Pixar doesn't dumb down the concept for kids. If anything, Pixar is forced to be more concise and transparent because of their broad demographic. Now, a common counter argument I hear against the concept of this film and, well, any other artistic exploration into a character's psyche is that by breaking down the personality into these basic elements ultimately renders them characterless. And that's a very valid way of looking at it. I understand how you could see Riley as merely a robot whose actions are a result of an overly elaborate mental process, but that's what it means to be human. If anything, the fact that we can be broken down to a science gives us a novel approach to understanding a fictional character. The point of psychology is that by studying stimulant, pattern, and behavior, we can finally understand and change people from the inside out. Get it? It's a joke. Okay, well, much of the beginning of the film gets you acquainted with the way that things are stewing in your head, you know, the way that ideas combine with emotions to create actions, so that when the real life plot becomes more layered and complex, we don't need a tutorial on how she processes information. It gives us ground with which to objectively look at the situation. We see things, often literally, from her own point of view, which is very important for the message that this movie is trying to deliver. It doesn't give us everything about a mind because you can't know everything about a person. It gives you just enough to piece together a mental image. And after all, isn't that one of the main goals of psychology? Look, point is, if you haven't seen this film yet, do yourself a favor and go watch it. I mean, it's just so good. It really explores this new realm that Pixar hasn't done before, but it does so exceedingly well. And of course, feel free to comment your own opinion of the film down below, and I'll see you guys next time.